Hi, my name is Vusi Ravele and I own a company called Native Decor. We manufacture home decor and furniture items which we then sell online on sites such as Take A Lot, Superbilish, Yuppy Chef, Woolworths and our own website as, as well as many other websites. So, Native Decor started in 2015 initially when I received a cordless draw for Valentine's Day of 2015 and as I've become infamous saying, I couldn't stop drilling holes into things. So there I was uh, making all sorts of things. Eventually I saw a, a bigger picture to create a business um, out of this uh, side hustle, which then escalated to 2016. End of 2016, I was on Mnet Shark Tank, where I pitched my business idea to a panel of uh, keen investors. And I ended up uh, walking away with a, a lucrative investment deal with Gilaved at that time. Um, and uh, yeah, since then, the business has grown. Uh, we employ 12 people. We manufacture a huge range of products. We've got over 250 uh, unique products. Um, anything from side tables to mirrors to um, any, any sort of decor related item that you can think of, um, as well as expanding into, into furniture quite, um, quite keenly as well. So yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're mainly an online business and I believe that obviously that's the way that most businesses are going now and, and that's helped us to sort of grow in the way that we have grown to be a, a prominent player in this space um, as we continue to grow. So some of the things or operations that we specialize in within our business is um, We've got a CNC machine, so we're able to cut things quite effectively. A CNC machine is, is a machine that can cut um, into materials such as wood, um, and, and you can tell the machine or program it through a computer um, that you want a circle, for example, as a shape, or a more intricate shape, and it'll cut exactly what you want to the millimeter, and that uh, has allowed us to, to, to create products that you know, we can manufacture quickly, uniquely, and also just have a wide variety of those, um, of those products. So that's one area that we specialize in. Another area that we specialize in is mirrors. So um, a big part of our business is mirror cutting, you know, to spec for our customers. So, you know, we can, we can make all sorts of intricate shapes. We've got like an Africa shape uh, mirror that we can make up to like a meter by a meter wide and high. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we, we also have uh, a steel division within our business so we can fabricate steel, we can cut, weld, um, shape, bend, all that sort of thing. Uh, and, and we're also kind of exploring other avenues to, to start upskilling. So essentially, you know, we, we, I've got a, a, um, a thing that I do within my business where whoever comes onto the business is not necessarily required to have a lot of skill. You know, they just have to be hungry for work and knowledge and, and have a good attitude towards that and you know, we'll teach them everything that they need to know. So most of our staff, more than half of them, came in unemployed and they didn't have the skills that they currently hold today where they can walk out of this business and go and find um, a work elsewhere and be a valued employee. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm all about skills and learning things and, and just kind of growing the business in that way. I believe that diversity um, kind of makes your business uh, more, more um, robust and, and also just means that you know you've got a lot of opportunities you can create. Of course it can be overwhelming and that's the important thing is not to get overwhelmed and, and kind of go at your own pace and do what you can manage but um, from my side I guess uh, you know we can manage quite a lot and, and we're going to continue to grow with the different processes and materials that we work with. So the future goals for Native Deco are to continue to expand within South Africa and then obviously uh, move cross-border and eventually internationally um, to the point where we're able to um, grow in the form, whatever form that may take, it may be a franchise form or just IP sort of growth, um, where we're able to, to kind of give a little bit of ourselves to as many countries as possible, um, wherever it might be viable for us to run our business there. Um, essentially, we are um, a, a supplier to every sort of customer that there is that, that lives in a home. And uh, that's our vision, is to bring a little bit of beauty to everybody's home as much as possible.
it's important to look after yourself as an entrepreneur um, because you are the most important person within your own business and if you're not mentally physically um, spiritually healthy and emotionally healthy you know your business is going to ultimately feel it whether it's um, an immediate thing or it's later down the line in your business where you fall ill physically and you're not able to be there for your business your business will suffer so it's, it's very important to kind of maintain a balance a healthy balance where you're looking after yourself and looking after your business and not allowing one to sort of um, overshadow the other because it's easier I see a lot of entrepreneurs go out into their businesses and allow their businesses to consume them and don't make any time for their family for themselves for for friends all that sort of thing so it's it's, it's really important beyond those, those few months where you're starting to strike that balance or start working at striking that balance and and just get that right before you know things go wrong so what I'd like to share with uh, the viewers um, a, a kind of uh, you know, important thing to, to have within your business or whatever it is you're getting involved in is to make sure that there's some form of IP that you're able to maintain ownership of that makes you different from your competitors and also allows you to grow your business. Because IP is a powerful thing. I mean, if you don't have IP in your business and you're just um, a middle person or middleman, um, you know, buying and selling things to various people, you, you need to make sure that you're able to do so better than your competitor or able to do so into the future. And without IP, without something that makes um, your business valuable, you're going to struggle to sell your business one day for the value that you're looking for. So, for example, in our business, our IP is our designs. So at some point, we're able to sell our designs if we really want to, or we're able to grow our business by growing our, um, our, our design IP and, and creating value in the business with that. And that is something that we can take to any sort of market, you know, because we know that we're unique, not just in South Africa, but across the world, where we can go, you know what, we've used this IP in South Africa, we made it profitable and it worked. We can go to the States and do the same thing there. It might be different, but, you know, essentially we can extrude value from that IP. So it's very important to make sure that you're establishing yourself um, with something that will help you to grow and make you unique at the same time. So people can reach us uh, through Instagram. Um, our handle is at Native Decor. They can reach us on Facebook. Um, there we are, Native Decor ZA. And they can also email us or call us, email or, or our website, I suppose is a great place, is www.nativedecor.co.za. So those are the, the best ways to reach us.